Hello, this is Math Models, uh, topic 1-2, uh, Introduction to Probability. So, in our last lesson we talked about just the basics of what is probability. Here we're going to talk about how to calculate probability. So, here we roll two fair dice. We roll a dice here, we roll a dice here. Uh, for sake of argument, I'm going to call this one red and this one green. Okay. And I've already made a list of the different combinations. Uh, go ahead and start working on that list on your page. And, and while you're doing it, I want you to see if you can find uh, any patterns. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and point out some patterns as you're filling out your table. Um, one pattern is that we have doubles on this diagonal. Uh, another pattern is that you can go ahead and take the sums and if you do your smallest sum would be here 1 plus 1 is 2 and 6 plus 6 is 12 and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start filling out the sums so you have all of your table again if you need to pause the video so you can fill it out and catch up please feel free to do so uh, or you can pause after I've written down all the sums. Just can go ahead and go row by row, starting from the bottom. Uh, six and five is eleven. Here we have ten, nine, eight, and seven. Well, six and five is the same here, so that's also eleven. Five and five make ten, nine, eight. 7, 5, and 1 make 6. Uh, well, 4 and 6, that would be 10. And then 9, 8, 7, 6. 4 and 1 make 5. Uh, 3 and 6 is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 3 and 1 make 4. Uh, 2 and 6 make 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2 and 1 make 3, and then 1 and 6 make 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3. So here we have their sums, and you may notice that, for instance, if we go on a diagonal this way, all of our sums are the same. Okay. Uh, this uh, will come in handy with your sums later. Uh, you may want to box them on yours uh, however you need. If you need to pause the video, again, please feel free to do so so you can fill out all this information. But I'm going to go ahead and move on. Let's get to know some basic terms. Okay. So we have a random experiment, the outcome, the event, and our sample space. Well, a random event is any uh, happening whose result is uncertain. So I can say that I can roll a die, or I can flip a coin. One well, outcome is one example. So I may roll a three, or I may land on tails. So an event is a subcollection of the sample space. So I may say um, the probability of rolling a three. on my dice, or I can say for a coin, the probability of tails. Okay, so three, that's an event. Uh, tails, that's another event. Okay, now the sample space is everything that can possibly happen. So. Really, your events come out of the sample space, if they're at all possible. 
And so on our dice, we have several options. You can roll one, two, three, four, five, or six. And on my coin, I can get heads or tails. So a random experiment is I roll a die. When I roll the die, I can get a one, two, three, four, five, or six. Um, a possible outcome is rolling a three. Uh, the event is actually getting that three. So those are some basic terms for you to know. Well, earlier we did a table. We said we uh, roll two dice, we list all the outcomes. Here I'm going to show you a tree method. You may prefer this, especially for smaller things. Uh, I'm going to flip two coins. So on coin number one, I can get either heads or tails. For coin number two, after I flip heads, well, I can get heads or tails. And I can get heads or tails if the first coin was tails. And so that leads me to several things. It leads me to heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails as my sample space. Okay, and I did this by doing my tree. This was coin number one. This was coin number two. Heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. So let's go ahead and look at table method number two. Table method number two involves using a deck of cards. All right. This is just your standard deck of cards. For those of y'all that may be unfamiliar, I'm going to go ahead and just pull out a deck of cards. Now, here's just a regular old deck of cards. And there are 52 total cards. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and break this down. Um, of my cards, we have ace, king, queen, jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. And we have them for clubs. We have them for hearts. We have them for spades. And we have them for diamonds. Okay. And so those are all of our 52 cards. Now, to further clarify, uh, clubs are black, hearts are red, spades are black, and diamonds are red. So the probability of drawing a red card, well, how many possible red cards are there? Well, all of these are red, and all of those are red. There are 13 here and 13 here. That makes a pos total possible of 26. How many black cards do I have? Well, these and these would be black. So 13 and 13 again make 26 possible black cards. Now face card, and here they clarify that they 
consider a face card being either jack, a queen, or a king? Well, that would be all of those, all of those, and all of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if you're only considering jack, queens, and kings to be face cards, uh, you have 12 possible outcomes. And now drawing a heart. Well, all of these are our hearts, and there are 13 of them. And so that's all your different possibilities. Um, if you're in class and you're curious, you're getting confused on these, uh, I will let you borrow a deck of cards so you can look at them and maybe get a better idea of what they are. Uh, but... Um, very basic. Uh, there are 13 different cards of four different suits. We've got one more page of examples. Uh, the probability of event, this is a review, is basically the number of outcomes of the event over the number of outcomes of the sample space. Okay. So, uh, if a paradise is rolled, one green and one red, find the probability of the following. We want to write these as a fraction. So we want to know the total as 5. Well, luckily, we have already made a table. So which ones have a total of 5? Well, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4 of them have a total of 5. So that would be 4 over, well, how many options do we have? Well, 6 times 6 make 36 possible options. And then, this is a fraction, and we need to be able to simplify our fractions. So we can use our calculator for this. Simply go 4 over 36, and then math fraction. Have this on your screen, hit enter, and it will tell you that this simplified is 1 ninth. Let's say our total is less than 5. So total being less than 5 would be anything to the left of this diagonal. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them are less than 5. So it would be 6 over 36, which you can use your calculator to simplify that, but hopefully you realize that 6 out of 36 is 1 sixth. And now we want to know the total is at least 9. So we come over here. And at least 9 means we include 9. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Or all but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 36 minus 6 is 30. And so here we have 30 over 36, which when we simplify that, gives us 5 sixths. And so that's with our pair of dice. Well, now let's look at this. We, look, we want to know the probability of finding a red card. Well, earlier we said that there were 26 red cards. So it would be 26 over 52. 26 over 52, which is 0.5. And this one's this decimal, so we're going to go ahead and just convert it to a decimal. Uh, the probability that you get either a 7 or an 8. So let's go ahead and come back over here. We didn't list this, but let's go ahead and figure it out. These are my 7s. There are 4 of them. These are my 8s. There are 4 of them. So that makes a total of 8. So 8 out of 52. 
is uh, 0.153. We want the nearest hundredth, so we're just going to say 1,5 because that 3 does not round up. And find the probability that it is either red or black. Well, if we look at this, uh, 26 were red plus 26 were black. So that would be 26 plus 26 equals 52. So 52 over 52 is one whole. Which is our answer? This is certain to happen. You are guaranteed to get either a red or a black. You're not going to get purple or green in a standard deck of cards. And now we're talking here about a penny and a, penny and a quarter are flipped at the same time. We want to find the probability that both are heads. Well, we've got a tree over here. This was our penny. And this was our dime. Probability that both are heads would be one out of four. If we want that as a percentage, you should know that one-fourth is 25%. Now the problem is the penny is heads and the quarter is tails. So penny is heads, quarter is tails, that would be heads, tails. Well, there's only one of those out of four total, which is also 25%. So, finding probabilities is very simple. You can create uh, tables or tree diagrams to help you out. Um, if you don't know exactly uh, the numbers, you can't think of them. Or, hopefully, you start getting the hang of this and uh, you start being able to do this without looking at a table or a uh, tree diagram. Uh, good luck on this assignment. Have a good day.